For nearly a month, four astronauts who hitched a ride aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule have been living and working on the International Space Station. And they've had plenty of time up there. When they launched from our coast, the crew knew what was in store for them in space, and a lot of important and exciting experiments have been planned. They're expecting a special delivery soon. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Volz is here, and Bree, SpaceX is preparing for a supply run. Yes, Bridget. In fact, tomorrow's launch of a Falcon 9 rocket will be the last supply run to the ISS until next year. This will be the SpaceX's new and improved Cargo Dragon spacecraft, not to be confused with the Crew Dragon spacecraft that has now launched two sets of humans to the ISS. The new cargo ship is designed to carry 50% more supplies. And the latest launch will be packed with more than 64,000 pounds of supplies, including experiments destined for the Zero Gravity Laboratory. And these experiments going up are going to be important for future far out missions. So here are a couple highlights from the major payload going up there. First, let's look at the HemoQ device. Here on the ground, when you go to the hospital for an infection, you'll likely get a test to count your white blood cells, right? Well, that's a capability astronauts don't have right now in spaceflight. So for exploration missions for the moon and Mars, our astronauts will need to be more self-sufficient. The objective to test out HemoQ to see that it can be used for clinical medicine in space so the astronauts can diagnose and treat their own medical problems. Next, we have the cardinal heart. That's another experiment. We imagine the excitement of launching into space for the first time or looking down at Earth from the ISS can make your heart skip a beat. And even though that's a figure of speech, scientists are really serious about cardiac health in space. Investigators will use engineered heart tissues mounted on tissue chips to better understand cardiovascular risk before spaceflight and create countermeasures for heart conditions. Results could provide new understanding of heart problems here on Earth, too. So this mission marks the 21st time SpaceX will make a supply run for NASA. And by the way, the booster used in tomorrow's launch was the one that previously launched astronauts Bob Hurley, or Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken back in May. So Cargo Dragon will arrive 24 hours after it departs our space coast. For the first time, an astronaut won't have to use the space station's robotic arm to grab a SpaceX spacecraft. That's because Cargo Dragon will have an automated docking. It's got that all under control itself. NASA astronauts Kate Rubens and Victor Glover will be monitoring for the spacecraft's arrival to the Harmony module. And that means the Cargo Dragon spacecraft will be docked right next to Crew Dragon. There'll be buddies up there. So as far as the actual launch goes, it's set for tomorrow at 11.39 in the morning. At last check, weather conditions were not favorable for liftoff. But if it does happen, you can watch it live as always over on clickorlando.com.